I bet you didn't expect this to be a love story. That's the funny thing about love stories. They hide beneath a thousand other plot lines, sneak around the corners of the page, jump out from between the lines, and sometimes, if you take enough chances, kiss enough frogs, one of them is going to turn into a prince. Winston Green is called Froggy because he spent his entire 23 years in search of the right frog. He's even moved into his parents' old house in Willow Creek since he heard there were more frogs in that area. To begin with, he never expected to find anything more than frogs. To begin with, he always thought he'd just be alone. Today, I decided to start doing something a little bit different. Um, I'm up for a change of pace, so I am going to be playing one of the scenarios for a little bit. This is our lovely sim, Froggy Green, and he is a frog fanatic, so he has a lot of different frog-related things he wants to do. He has all green traits, so he is a vegetarian who loves the outdoors, and he wants to be an insider, so he likes to have clubs all about his frogs. And I have a couple mods that I'm testing out at the moment. So he is a programming genius as well as a natural chef, but he is kind of bad at comedy and singing. So the this mod is giving him like natural talents. Let's see, besides that, nothing too interesting. So we're just gonna pop right in and immediately start working on his scenario. Since there wasn't really anything going on in his neighborhood, Froggy is going to the park. He is going to try to look for frogs in the pond. And we are going to look around and see if we can't find any other places to get those much desired frogs from. At long last, Froggy has finally found a few different logs that he can look for some frogs in. So that's good. He's thinking about treasure. Like, am I going to find the one? No, baby. It's just a striped leaf frog. Sorry. Yeah, we will probably have to breed to get the more rare frogs. I have completed the frog collection before, but it's been a few years. Yeah, a net would be helpful. That's right. Okay, we've got a striped eggplant frog and a striped leaf frog. So unfortunately, that's not going to be very interesting breeding um, because two striped frogs are going to make another striped frog. So they'll probably breed just one of the two that are already existing essentially. So I view Froggy as super cheerful, very hopeful about being able to make it off of his frog hobby. Obviously kind of a dork, uh, but somebody who really loves the outdoors. So if he can become rich off of frogs, that will be very interesting. Okay, so at the pond, Froggy was able to find an eggplant frog. Now that's a good sign because I believe that the eggplant frog is one of the base frog types. So that means that if I get some variations, I can breed other things besides the striped eggplant. So uh, probably can't remember all the different color variations anymore. I think it's time for Froggy to go home though. We've already got, I thought that was Lily Fang. No, June K showering in the rain over here. So I think it's time to leave. Okay. Now that we are back, we're going to want to do a couple of different things. So the first thing I'm going to try to do is just on the off chance that this will get something other than a striped eggplant frog, I'm going to breed them. Lo and behold, striped leaf frog. Unhelpful. Okay, I'm actually not going to sell this because I want to be able to display these as well. I like having a house full of all this stuff that he finds. He's going to be so happy. So he is hungry. He's a vegetarian. So I'm just going to have him... Let's just have dinner. He's going at that onion a little hard. Ooh. Ooh, that's right. Froggy is a natural cook, so he managed to get to cooking level three already. So that, yeah, he has a little bit of cooking skill and uh, he did start getting the fishing skill 
as well. So he is on his way to maybe eventually he'll be able to make like a cool restaurant or something. Maybe that's something he wants alongside his frog breeding. You never know. Oh, I love this song. <laughs> his favorite music is actually pop. Let's turn this up. Yes. Take those muddy boots off. You've been hunting frogs all day long. <laughs> I don't know why I'm having so much fun. Yeah, froggy, get it. Oh yeah, break it down, boy. Okay, it's getting kind of late and He's not quite tired yet, so I'm thinking maybe he'll settle down with a skill book for the evening. Um, auto lights, all lights. Yeah, I just want him to sort of get ready for bed and then maybe I'll take a shower in the morning. No, he was out in the mud all day, so he's just going to take a shower and get into his pajamas, and I think settle down with a nice book for the evening. Look at him while he's doing his teeth brushes. Oh, he is so cute. I did a great job. Yeah, he's feeling confident too. Yes, your watcher does love you enough to make you brush your teeth before bed. Okay, so I have a mod that prevents them from having books in their bookshelf unless they own them. So I'm going to purchase for him a skill book so he can settle down and learn some skills for the evening. I'm thinking fishing because that is his hobby and it will help him with his frog hunting perhaps. So he's going to get the first book, Fishing Volume 1, Getting Hooked. So you want to catch a fish? Learn how to tie a simple fishing knot and cast the line with this beginner's fishing book. Okay, we're going to turn down his music since he's going to be reading now and he is going to read that book and yes he is wearing a frog onesie and yes it is cute and actually it might be an alligator I'm not quite sure I'm gonna say it's a frog though put the walls up and just settle in for the evening okay so yeah a little bit vibier a little more comfy he did just move in, so maybe eventually we'll get some things on the walls for him. It's gonna be his night. Since he's feeling a little tired now, our friend Froggy is going to go on ahead and go to bed for the evening. Put away your book and head on out. <gasps> oh my god oh my god oh oh my god oh <laughs> oh my god i haven't had a vampire invasion in so long and this is the lady vampire who is um the head of the noble faction i i seem to recall oh my god i'm so excited froggy you're gonna be a vampire frog I'd, I'm so excited right now. I don't even know how to tell you. I love the vampire invasions. And, like, they almost never happen for me. Oh, my gosh. Okay. You're really going to hit on her? Really? You're still dazed, but she's not drinking from you. Okay. Apparently, she, like, met you and thought better of it or something. Like, he is still mesmerized. Yeah, yeah. But like he, I wonder if he'll even remember this in the morning. And this is El de Vampiro. Okay, and she's just a fledgling. And he thinks that she's interesting, but she finds him annoying. Okay. Yeah, he must have no real idea what's happening right now. Because she mesmerized him, but then she just she didn't even want to drink from him. She just wanted to give him a, a talk. I wonder if she's lonely? Maybe she's going to be his best friend. Maybe they're best friends forever. Have a deep conversation. A nice... 
Maybe she loves frogs too. Tell her an insider story. Tell her about the fact that you want to start a club for frog lovers. Maybe she wants to turn a new leaf over because one of the ways to make plasma packs is the use of frogs. So I'm thinking that she probably wants to join his froggy club. Well, he wants a dog. You can have a dog, dude. Um, yeah, let's start a club. Okay, we're going to create a club. And it is going to be, um, I guess fish is the closest one. I wish there were more club symbols. Okay, frog fanatics for life. Do you love frogs? Yes, so do we. Come kiss a few frogs with us. I'll come up with something better later. But for now, I want to try to invite her before she like leaves. Doing her creepy walk. Ugh. Okay, invite her to club. <laughs> I can't believe he is still mesmerized. Okay, and she's leaving. She just wanted to come and visit and see what life was like on the froggy side. Okay. Okay, Al. Okay, Al has left for the day, so we are going to start our morning. Let's just take, let's do an, a brisk shower because if he is feeling energetic, that will keep his energy from draining as quickly. And then I'll have him just have some breakfast. He wants to get right on out to frog hunting. So just do a quick fruit salad. Okay, so we are out and ready to hunt for collectibles. Moira Fires is visiting to jump in some leaf piles. What are you wearing, Alika? No, nobody wants to go to Batu. <laughs> His face. Like what's in here. Okay, a spotted dirt frog. So that's a different kind of frog. I'm gonna try to breed that one to the eggplant frog and see if I can get another. Okay, where are these water pumps? Oasis Springs. Okay, so we're gonna go to Oasis Springs today. We have arrived in Desert Bloom Park. And of course, our number one priority is to find frogs. Any frogs in here, Froggy? Did you get one? He did. He got a spotted dirt frog. It's a relatively cool day in Oasis Springs today, which is good considering that he's having to run all over Tarnation to be able to find his frogs. But we found some options here. So he's just going to run through the cacti. Okay, Froggy found a striped heart frog and a My Sims trophy. Okay. Um, that's very good sign. Okay, and he wants to chat with a friend for an hour, so I'm going to have him do a gathering soon. He's the last thing that we're going to do before we wrap up the challenge for the day is we're going to start the first gathering of Frog Fanatics for Life. It is noon, so if Elle can come... She might catch on fire, but why don't we see if she wants to come over inside to this tiny room? Seems right. Let's just go in here together, Al. I think I made a slight error by calling you. Oh, she got an umbrella. She's fine. Never mind. She knows how to handle being a vampire. So I'm going to have her talk about his interests. So enthused about fishing and the outdoors and he's wanting to chat with her for an hour, so they'll just hang out for a little bit. And maybe catch some frogs. Who knows? She must be feeling confident or something. Oh, that was not an hour, dude. Um, talk about the outdoors. Yeah, and he wants to make a friend, and they're not quite friends yet, so he does want to keep talking to her. They must, even though he was mesmerized, they must have kept each other's contact information. He wants to collect a new crystal. I love that she's just like, <laughs> this pairing is killing me. 
You should probably ask her if she's a vampire, considering that she broke into your house in the middle of the night. What a strange question. Why would I? Honey, we're definitely a vampire. Okay, lie to me then. Whatever. It's like, you tried to drink my blood. Are you a vampire? No, no. For no reason did I bring break into your house in the middle of the night. I just sensed frogs around. That makes sense, right? I, I just sensed frogs. I love frogs. Okay. I'm, while they're chatting, let's breed the frogs. Spotted dirt. And that's a new frog. <gasps> yes, dirt whirl frog. Yes. So that's one of the rare frog types that will get more money when he breeds them. Okay, why don't you give her a hug goodbye? And of course, she's not a vampire. She's just hissing. Don't worry about it. Give her a hug goodbye. We'll end the gathering. Go on home, Al. Okay, so I'm going to end this part here. Froggy's house is filling very nicely with frogs and collectibles. And he has managed to make a friend. So he has made the friend of El de Vampiro, who is a vampire who tried to visit him in the night and thought about drinking his blood but saw all of the frog paraphernalia and realized that he like her is obsessed with frogs so he and she formed a club together called frog fanatics for life and so that is where we are going to end this with a budding frog fan club and a house full of amphibians I will see you next time as I'm probably going to be, let's see, I think there'll be at least two more parts. So I'll be on my way to finishing this up and we're going to have a lot of frog love and frog breeding time. I hope to see you next time and have an awesome day. Bye. Mm -hmm.